A ton of leaks have come out about what's coming soon to Fortnite, and with only a month away from the new season, today we are looking at everything we know about Fortnite Season 3. With Fortnite's entire 2024 roadmap being leaked, we saw our first glimpse into the new season showcasing the key art of next season. It looks like Season 3 will have an apocalypse theme. In the art, you can see a desert biome with a ton of battle pass outfits fighting, and if these leaks are true, this season looks set to be awesome. I think it's likely that we could see this desert biome replace Mount Olympus with the new season, and maybe we could even see the return of sand tunneling. Although this was somewhat of a controversial feature, I think a lot of fans would like to see it return. It does feel like the Chapter 5 map is missing a sand biome, and this should be a great addition. Believe it or not, at some point many years ago, Fortnite was thinking about doing an apocalypse season. There was actually some concept art, and although this was seemingly scrapped from coming to the game, it would make a lot of sense for Fortnite to add it now. Judging by the vibe of this area, I think it would fit really well in the underworld area of the the map. With the apocalypse theme this season, it feels like the perfect time for some new crossovers like Mad Max. There's a new Mad Max movie releasing this year, and this crossover would fit perfectly in the new Fortnite season. It would be really cool to see some Mad Max outfits come to the game, and more importantly, some Mad Max vehicles. If we were to get these type of vehicles in-game, they'd be a lot of fun to use in Battle Royale as well as Rocket Racing. But Mad Max isn't the only crossover fans want to see added to Fortnite next season, because if Fortnite did a Fallout collab, it would probably be one of the most popular gaming Legends crossovers of all time. It would make a lot of sense for Fortnite to do because an update is coming to Fallout 4 next week and it will be released on the Epic Games Store. On top of that, a new Fallout show recently just released, making it the perfect time to promote the show with a Fortnite collaboration. While none of those outfits are confirmed, we do have a ton of survey skins that we could see add to the game in Season 3. It's hard to make out the outfits shown in the key art of the season, but there's a ton of Apocalypse themed outfits in the surveys, with my favorite ones being the Bright Bomber remake, a motocross outfit, and this mutated pineapple. If I had to predict the battle pass for next season, I would bet that the mutated pineapple outfit could be next season's meme skin, and it looks like the character on the left of the key art could be the tier 100 skin for next season. A lot of fans have speculated that he could be this survey skin wearing a different attire with an exoskeleton. Many fans online have also speculated that the outfit in the middle may be this survey skin wearing a different edit style. On top of that, I think there's a good chance this motocross outfit will end up in next season's battle pass as well. But one thing Fortnite fans have wanted to see added to the game and we're hoping to see in the next season is first person mode. Although it's more likely that this will release in chapter 6, Fortnite did confirm at the state of Unreal event that first person mode will be releasing this year. Believe it or not, fans did get a sneak peek at this feature back in early chapter 4 when Fortnite accidentally put this feature in the game and tons of players got to use this new feature early. If FPS mode were to come to the game, I think it would be great if it was an optional feature to use in Battle Royale, especially for zero build mode. It's not the only setting we could see added in the new season as it looks like soon we will get proximity chat as a feature for creative mode. In case you don't know what proximity chat is, it's basically where if you're within a certain proximity of a player, even if they're not on your team, you can voice chat with them. This has been a popular feature from Warzone, but it would probably be too toxic for Fortnite's Battle Royale, but it's a cool addition for creative mode, especially with fans making their own Battle Royale modes in UEFN. It's not the only thing from Warzone we may see coming to the game, because Fortnite recently removed weapon charms from the files, which may make you think that they're no longer coming to the game. But they left cosmetics like hats and the bus themes, which means Fortnite may be preparing for this feature to release alongside first person mode. Although this may mean we'll have to wait till chapter 6 to see this feature added, maybe we'll get lucky and see it added with the new season. We didn't just get leaks for Battle Royale though, as it was leaked and later confirmed by Fortnite that our next Festival Pass collab will be Billie Eilish. By the time you're watching this, she's probably already been added to the game, but Fortnite teasing this brought a lot of hype because it did provide further proof that the leaked roadmap may be real, and this is a crossover a lot of Fortnite players have wanted to see. But it's not the only festival pass that we'll have in Season 3, because in the later half of Fortnite Season 3, we will get a new festival pass, including Metallica. Because there are four members of the band, it will be interesting to see how Fortnite handles this, because if we got four outfits in the festival pass, that would be a complete steal. I think it's more likely we will see the lead singer in the festival pass and the other band members in the item shop. Because Fortnite Festival is based on popular rhythm games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band, Metallica would be a really fitting crossover. And we're not just getting new battle passes, is for Fortnite Festival because it's recently been leaked that in May, around the start of Season 3, we will see the release of the first ever LEGO Battle Pass. The LEGO Battle Pass will likely include LEGO characters as well as LEGO building sets. 
But one of the coolest Fortnite LEGO updates we can expect to see next season is the return of Colombo, but not in the way you expect it. Colombo is finally returning to Fortnite through the LEGO mode, which looks really cool. We can assume when this huge update comes out, we'll get a ton of new builds in the item shop, and it'd be really cool to get some Colombo themed cosmetics. Colombo isn't the only return we may see next season because Fortnite recently updated Rue's outfit with a Lego attire. And although a lot of players thought this outfit was banned from the item shop, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for Fortnite to update it if they weren't going to re-release it. Mike Lowry is another rare skin that could return next season as a new Bad Boys movie is set to release this summer and it would make perfect sense to promote the new movie by bringing back the outfit to Fortnite. One thing you're probably wondering about next season is what will the loot pool be like? It would make a lot of sense if Fortnite made weapons with an apocalypse Apocalypse theme similar to the primal weapons in season 6. Seeing apocalypse themed weapons would be awesome and if you look at the key art it's unclear if this is a pickaxe or if this could be a new version of the scythe weapon. With the new season we'll likely see the removal of this season's mythics as they're all based on this season's theme and they probably wouldn't fit very well in season 3. Along with the new loot pool we can also probably expect some new weapon mods as with the last new season we saw the addition of the thermal scope and there are a ton of leaked weapon mods like fire bullets, a fire rate mod modifier and a headshot multiplier. These weapon mods sound really cool and I think it's very likely we get one of these added to the game next season. One thing a lot of players are hoping Epic will change is the user interface because Fortnite has recently made a lot of changes like removing rarities, changing the locker, and switching the game mode selection screen to square designs. Most players really haven't liked the changes we've seen to the UI, so now fans are hoping in Season 3 we can get a new user interface because the current one just doesn't really feel like Fortnite anymore, and in the locker, it makes it really hard to find outfits, especially if you own a lot of skins. At one point, Fortnite said they were going to make some changes to the UI when fans originally didn't like it, but the only change we've gotten since then is the removal of rarities, so now we're all wondering what happened. But one update we know is coming to Fortnite soon is Fall Guys. Not only was this shown on the Fortnite 2024 roadmap, but on top of that, Fortnite confirmed that Fall Guys will soon be added as a playable mode in Fortnite, like Rocket Racing and Fortnite Festival. According to leaks, it's set to happen sometime in Season 3. One thing that'll be really cool about this is that Fortnite allows creative maps for this mode the way they do LEGO and Rocket Racing. Speaking of Rocket Racing, the next season is set to release during Season 3 of Fortnite, and it looks like the next season of Rocket Racing will be lava themed, as on the roadmap you can see this lava temple. It would be really cool to see some apocalypse and lava themed cars added to rocket racing and I would also bet in season 3 we'll get some sort of crossover vehicle as we have recently gotten Lamborghini and McLaren as some of the most successful vehicles added to rocket racing. But one of the most anticipated crossovers we can expect to see next season will be Pirates of the Caribbean. This is another thing that was spotted on the apparent 2024 roadmap and I think if this crossover were to happen we would likely see some sort of pirate ship themed point of interest as well well as a Jack Sparrow outfit. It would also be great to get some pirate themed mythics and it looks like this collaboration may happen sometime in the middle of season 3. But what do you want to see added to Fortnite season 3? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.